Good morning, YouTubers. Welcome to my Ohio Northern Garden Greenhouse. I have some of my citrus here that I've been overwintering. Some of it's about three years old and some of it was new last year. Just wanted to start off by showing you guys some of the stuff. These are some of my oranges. In the back, we have some lemons and limes. And on this side are most of my kumquats. Most of these will stay hardy down to about 32 degrees, but you do not want the roots to freeze. So I put them in this greenhouse in the winter. I have my little pond in here to keep the humidity. And let me tell you a little bit more about each one, I guess. So on this side, we have mostly oranges and mandarins. This one was the first one I bought actually. It's my Miho Satsuma Mandarin. I've got fruit out of this one about two or three times now. It doesn't produce a lot because it's in a container and I am in a northern garden. But if I keep it at a decent temperature during the winter and take care of it, it usually pops out in the spring pretty good. These three or four are some of my newer ones. I think they're about two years old. This one is a Tango Mandarin. I haven't got any fruit off of this one yet. I think this is about the second season. I've overwintered it. It did throw a few flowers. And I'm having a little bit of problems with pests. But it seems like when I throw them outside in the springtime, nature kind of takes its course on them and takes care of the bugs. This one here is a California honey mandarin. This one also I have not got anything off of yet. It seems that my kumquats produce pretty good compared to the oranges and mandarins. Here's actually one of my kumquats. It's called a Fukushu kumquat. It's kind of mixed between a kumquat and a key lime, I believe. So it's a little tart. I actually got one on there still from last season that just ripened up. Most of these citrus usually ripen from November to February. So if I have any late bloomers, sometimes I'll get ones in the spring that are still on the tree. I'll usually just take those off and let the new blooms come in. Here's my Robertson navel. It seems to be doing pretty good. Got some spiders and some, some bugs that I need to get off of it. But like I said, when I throw it outside, usually nature takes care of itself. Being in the north, it, it seems like I don't get as many bad pests as you would in the south. And then back here we have the Eustis Lime Quad. This is actually a really good producer. Bugs kind of hit it this winter, but I think she'll bounce right back. This thing's usually covered in little green lime quads. This one I believe is another Tango Mandarin. I put this one in a smaller pot and you can see the difference from the five gallon pot to the seven gallon pot over here, how much bigger it's gotten. It seems to do a lot better over the winter in a bigger pot too, because I can keep the roots a little bit warmer. And I do stick a little bit of bubble wrap around these pots in the winter time. And I also stick bubble wrap up like I did in the back just to keep it warm in here. And then sometimes I throw supplemental heat in here. That's usually only if it gets down below 10 degrees, 20 degrees maybe. Here's one that I actually just bought last spring. So it went through the summer, it was in a smaller pot and then I moved it up to the big pot. 
the beginning of winter and this actually made it through the winter pretty good it was just a real small this is a pink lemon in the back here we have a grapefruit that one also was just a little sprout in the springtime when I bought it last year it's actually grown up pretty good some of these other ones like like this this is a tan green that I bought three years ago and it's just a dwarf tangerine but it was about the size of my grapefruit over here about three years ago so they don't grow really fast which is nice and it's great for the greenhouse when you keep them in pots they tend to seem stay a little smaller you do have to trim them this one is one of my favorites I think I maybe overcropped it last year and it's struggling a little bit this year. It was, this was full of kumquats last year. This was the Miwa kumquat. It's one of my favorite ones, the sweetest one that I have. Um, this one I'll put outside here. It's about May 21st. So by about the middle of June, this thing will be covered with blooms. This one blooms a few times a year too to where my oranges and my mandarins they bloom once in the spring and if i if i if they get a frost or if it gets too cold in the spring the blooms will fall off and i won't get fruit they did pretty good this year so i'm hopeful that i'll have some fruit on some of them i just need to get them outside here as soon as it gets warm usually about the beginning of june is when I'll throw these all outside. But I've had them for about three years and they do great in the winter time. Being in zone 5B in Ohio, I'm actually pretty impressed and surprised with how it all turns out in the springtime. But yeah, that's about all. This is my uh, Ohio greenhouse with all my citrus trees in it. Um, stay tuned for another update. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching my video. I appreciate all the support. Uh, yeah, watch watch my some of my next videos and I'll show you the progress of all my fruit trees and citrus trees and some of my berries and all kinds of fruits. So stay tuned, yeah.